Hey friend, John McLennan here, and today I wanna to share with you how I play Roadhouse Blues, as recorded by The Doors on guitar. Now, this is an awesome song. It's got some really cool driving bluesy riffs in it. Now, I'm gonna be playing this finger style, so that means I'm not using a pick, and Robbie Krieger actually played without a pick, so when I play the guitar part this way, I think it captures the sound that you hear on the recording a lot better than using a pick. But you could play it with a pick as well if that's more comfortable for you. So let's get straight into it here. The opening riff starts out on this low E and what you do is you just play eighth notes. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Now the way I'm doing this is with my thumb and my index and I'm kind of making them a little bit staccato so I I basically play one and then the you know I play the thumb and then the index kind of touches the string and rest before I pluck the next one again so you get that sound now one and two and three and then you do this little hammer on it's a double hammer on actually so you play the fourth string open one two and you hammer ha and then hammer again. So one. Okay, one and two and three and four and a one and two and three and four and a. Okay, so that's one move and then he does another variation where he goes and does the same thing on the fifth string. So one and two and three and four and a one and two and three and four and a one and two. And he just mixes them up. They're just bluesy licks. Okay, and then you could do this variation. This is another one. Okay, so that's starting like the first one. One and two and three and fourth string. Then you play the third string. Then two, zero, two on the fourth string. That's a pull off to the second fret. Or you could go. You do a, a pull off hammer on. And then two on the fifth string, zero on the fourth string, two, boom, da, da. so da, da. Here it is again. So all of that actually comes out of something called the blues scale. And if you wanna to learn to jam the blues like this anywhere on the neck, then I wanna give you a gift. I put together this awesome PDF guide that shows you the quickest and easiest way to learn the five blues scales up and down the neck. And I wanna give it to you completely for free. Just go to johnmclennan.com slash blues scales now, and you can download it as my gift to you. All right, so all of those licks, you know, are all in this kind of open position that's based off an E7 chord here. So this is a great key for guitar players. You know, the key of E is you get all these open strings. Okay, so from there, when we get to sort of the chorus, so the whole first part of that verse is just on the E and you're just kind of got this driving rhythm. And then when Jim Morrison sings, let it roll, baby, roll, then you go to the four chord, which would be an A chord. Now here I play like a blues rhythm pattern like this. And this is a lot of fun to play here. This is basically an A chord with one finger here and I'm playing the fifth string and then I pinch the fourth and third strings. Right? Almost like a ZZ top there. <laughs> so you've got the fifth string and then the pinch there. Then you play the third fret to the fourth fret on the fifth string. So, and then second fret on the fourth string, open A then four, two on the fourth string. So. So that's basically the A rhythm pattern. So when you go to the four chord, you just drop into that. For eight bars, 
That, that was uh, just four bars there. Then again. And you kind of have like a turnaround. The lyric cue here is let it roll. All night long. And you, what you do there is you, you go up to a B bar chord here at the seventh fret. Okay, so this is seven, nine, nine, eight, seven, seven. Just a typical major bar chord there. And you do triplets. One and a two and a three and a four and a, and then you go up one fret and then back down. Very bluesy, right? And then you're back. So what I did there was triplets on the B, up to C, 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 three strums on C, and then back to B with one strum and then a rest. So, and then, then we're back to E, and here's another great chord that Robbie Krieger would use. You know, instead of E7 down here, you can play it up here in the sixth position. You know, you got the open low E, seven on the fifth string, six on the fourth string. 7 on the 3rd string, open 7 on the 1st string. Looks like a B7. Just up here, higher up the neck, making the root there on E and also the low E. And then he would go down a half step. So that little rhythm there is 1 and 2 and 3. Then drop it down to D sharp back up. Now that shape, again, like in People Are Strange, he uses that shape and he would slide it, right? So here in People Are Strange, which you can check out this lesson on my channel, you've got the B7 and then up. You know, here he's going and sort of leaving the open strings while sliding the chord is really a dissonant thing. Like normally you wouldn't want to do that. It'd be like, oh, that sounds bad. But here it sounds really good. So this is like what he does in verse two instead of, he goes this. And then everything goes back. You repeat all the same thing things. Now when you end, there's this really cool ending rhythm and then lick that goes like this. Okay, so it walks all the way up to E. Okay, so, so you've got B, one measure of, of triplets, one and a two and a three and a four and a, and then you go to quarter note triplets, you play two more strums on B, and then you walk up. And then, the band kind of drops out and you go to this lick up here. So what I did was take that chord all the way up to D sharp, the last chord before we get to E. So triple it, triple it, triple it, triple it, B, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp. And then you got this ending lick. Okay, it's, it's coming out of E blues scale or E minor pentatonic. You bend the 15th fret of the first string, then you do a pull off 15 to 12, then 15, 12 on the second string. So that's sort of like the first part of it. And then, okay, this is a bend on 14 of the third string, bring it up and down, then 12, 14 on the fourth string. 12, so you could pull off or pluck them either way. And then you go, that's a little blues lick right there. That could be Stormy Monday, right? Uh, it's based off this E9 chord. You, you play the seventh fret of the third string and second string, slide it up to nine and then back down to seven, so. You can play the low E. So coming out of this last part, you go. So 
So take those different sections and figures and work them out slow. Then when you're ready, try and play it along with the recording. And to learn to jam this anywhere on the neck, be sure to grab my Blue Scales PDF guide. This is gonna show you the five easiest and fastest ways to learn this anywhere on the neck. I wanna give it to you completely for free. Just go to johnmcclennan.com slash bluescales now to grab that as my gift to you. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for listening, and for more blues guitar, check out this video next.